welcome to another unboxing video. Recently, Dr. Travis Petricek, MD, has contacted me and extremely generously offered to buy a whole bunch of hardware to support the Visuino development. He is a Visuino user and he has been extremely happy with it and very enthusiastic about Visuino. So he decided out of extreme generosity to purchase and sell me a whole bunch of stuff. So I will make probably a whole bunch of videos one after another and packaging each of the boards he has sent and I really really have to thank him out of the bottom of my heart for the enormous generosity to send me so much stuff. I promise to work extremely hard to add every single one of the devices he has sent and make them available in this view. Obviously so much hardware will take time each of the boards takes considerable amount of work on my side to get it properly mapped in Visuino, but I promise that I will not sleep literally until each of them is properly added to thank him for his enormous generosity. I encourage everybody to thank him as well in the comments. I have no idea how otherwise to express my gratitude, but I will definitely do anything I can to pay him back. So, without further ado, this is just the first board he has sent me. I'm not 100% sure what's in this back here, but we'll discover now together. Let's cut through the back and see what we have here thanks to the good Dr. Petricek. And here we have extremely important for Visuino board. This is Arduino Uno R4 edition Wi-Fi board. This board hopefully will allow me to map both the new Arduino R4 as well as the Wi-Fi version. We'll see how it will all go. So let me now open the box and we can see together what's inside it. I have not had chance yet to see myself the R4 revision of Arduino Uno. So it will be a nice surprise both for you and for me. Oh wow, nice! It has the plastic bottom which I really like as it makes it much safer to operate. The usual sticker and Just warranty card from Arduino, a little warning label, put the box aside and focus on the board. So the board obviously has Wi-Fi, I'm not sure if it has Bluetooth, I'll have to study it. It has this matrix LED area, so the controller is ESP32. Okay, well, we have two controllers effectively. We have ESP32 uh, controller as well as some type of uh, microchip controller. Atmel, former Atmel, now microchip. Uh, not sure the type of controller, but uh, we'll take a look at. Uh, the specs as part of my work on the mapping and I will surely discover. So not, sh I do not see, 
I'm not sure what is this chip here. It may very well uh, have some other peripherals. So that's it for this board. Let's see on the back. Yeah, that's it on the first glance for this board. Next step for me is obviously to start playing with it, digging into the Arduino libraries and start writing the proper mapping for Visuino. So it's some good luck. This board as well as the simple Arduino Uno R4 without Wi-Fi, both of them should be mapped and ready for Visuino quite soon. By the time I had chance to start editing the video, I have already added support both for Arduino Uno, R4, Minima and Wi-Fi. And now I will quickly show you the functionality. As you can see, the board is fully mapped. with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Canvas and everything else. We have all the modules, even the operational amplifier, which is a very weird and unusual functionality to have on the board. And we even have the display. And here are all of the different communications. So now I'll go ahead and create a simple test project. I'll add a text field to the display. I'll add a counter. Doesn't matter which type. Connect the output of the timer to the input of the text field. I'll take log generator. And I'll connect the clock generator to the increment or up pin of the counter. I will make sure to select the right COM port where the device is connected and click on the upload button. Since the code is not yet compiled, we will compile and then upload it. The code is uploaded and now, as you can see, the board is counting incrementally. Of course, I didn't put a max limit, so once it reaches 100, it will show only zeros. But that being said, we have our board working. All other functionalities and features are also fully implemented. This should be good enough for a quick demo of the board. So now what I can say once I had the chance to add all of the support in Visuino for the board thanks to the generous Dr. Travis Petricek well, this is quite a cool board. It has this cool display, it has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, it has canvas, of course. It has even operating amplifier, and I am pretty sure I will be missing some of the cool features. And yes, it even has this little hidden GPIO pin in the form of heart which is not traditionally supported in the Arduino ID, but surprise, surprise, I have added support for it in Visuino. So you'll be able to enjoy it. I hope you have enjoyed this quick video, unboxing and showing off the board, including the recently added Visuino support. And once again, I use the chance to 
express my gratitude to the generous Dr. Travis Petricek. I hope you have enjoyed the video and you are already enjoying the visual support of the board. If you like the channel, please remember to click the like button and to support me, hopefully subscribe. To get notifications, you can also click on the bell button. Have a great day everyone. Goodbye.